A famous philosopher and mathematician once said, it is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. He went on to create the rectangular coordinate system in mathematics and is referred to as the father of modern philosophy. This philosopher and mathematician is René Descartes. Born on March 31st, 1596 in La Haye, France, Descartes attended a Jesuit school at the age of eight and at 22, he received a degree in law. Throughout his schooling, he worked in a variety of disciplines such as mathematics, music, astronomy, metaphysics, philosophy, and ethics. This variety helped shape his views on the world around him, influencing his contributions in both philosophy and mathematics. He processed the world through observation and proving his doubts. One of his contributions to philosophy is referenced as Cartesian doubt, wherein a person doubts the truth of all of his beliefs in order to systematically prove which ones are genuinely true. However, one of his most quoted and referenced statements is cogito ergo sum, which means I think, therefore I am. This statement establishes the idea that if someone is able to think, then they can conclude that they in fact exist. He went, on a, he went a step further with the, this idea to prove the existence of God. He said, quoting, Of the ideas which I find in my mind, some arise from external causes, and others from the mind itself. Now among the ideas which I possess is the idea of God, that is, the idea of a most perfect being. This idea, however, cannot have been produced by me, for the fact that I doubt proves that I am an imperfect being and an imperfect being cannot cause that which is most perfect. He alone, who is himself endowed with all perfection, can produce in my mind the idea of a most perfect being. Therefore, from the idea of God which I possess, I am warranted, warranted in concluding that God exists. As a mathematician, Descartes built off the foundation set by Euclid, Apollonius, and Archimedes by connecting the analytical tools of algebra with geometric representation. We now refer to his findings as analytical geometry. In other words, he provided a way to visualize algebraic functions. The major way he did this was through the creation of the rectangular coordinate system. The theory behind René Descartes' discovery of the Cartesian coordinate system happened one day as he was laying on his bed and saw a fly land on his ceiling. And he thought, looking at the squares that formed the ceiling, that if he were to have a starting point, and he counted the number of squares over to the number of squares up, he could find the exact position of the fly. So he took two number lines and flipped one of them and made them perpendicular. And so one, formed the x-axis, one formed the y-axis, and where they met was called the origin, that was 0, 0. And the Cartesian coordinate system, also known as a rectangular coordinate system, actually came from René Descartes' name. They took the um, cart off the back and said Cartesian, and became the Cartesian coordinate system. And within the Cartesian coordinate system, you classify a coordinate by the x and then the Y. And that's how you determine the exact location of a point in space uh, within this two-dimensional plane. Descartes' discovery in geometry is still being taught nearly 400 years later in schools around the world. Descartes' contributions to philosophy and mathematics prove to be vital in how we think and learn today. Unfortunately, Descartes' comp contributions were cut short when he took a tutoring job with Queen Christina of Sweden and died of pneumonia only a few months into the job. He was only 53 years old. Although his body was fragile, his mind was sharp and influenced such thinkers as Immanuel Kant, Sir Isaac Newton, Baruch Spinoza, as well as young mathematicians and philosophers of today.